Hi guys, it's Andrea, and today I'm gonna to share with you all a recipe that's a healthier version of an all-time favorite, so stay tuned. If you're enjoying our videos, please like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell button. So I have exciting news, guys. You can now follow us on Instagram at Fuel Network TV. We're gonna be posting our latest videos, fueling hacks, any kind of tips regarding program, all right there in one place for you to find. You can also follow my personal page, Coach Andrea Corinne. So today's Lean and Green recipe is gonna be the Big Mac Salad. So this is a much healthier version um, compared to the fast food chain that you might love very much. So this is gonna be super amazing and super healthy, really easy to put together as well. So to make this recipe, I have everything laid out for us, really easy to put together. So I have lettuce, tomato, ground beef, fat-free cheese, and program approved Thousand Island dressing. Okay, so I love this recipe a lot because honestly, who doesn't love a Big Mac? Now I'm just gonna eat something that's one of my favorites, but a healthier version of it. And this is one of the lean and green recipes that a whole lot of clients try right in the beginning of their journey because it's just really simple and delicious. I'm all about that, trying to create recipes that keep me on track with my health and my journey and in maintenance. So making this recipe is really easy to put together and you can scale it as large as you want or for one. And that's what I'm gonna show you today, a serving size for one. So we are gonna be getting five ounces of ground beef, two cups of lettuce, half a cup of tomato, and then our two condiments in this full lean and green. Really easy, guys. Okay, so all I did was cut open the package and place the meat in the bowl. I have my George Foreman grill out. I'm really excited to use this and some salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna season the meat, form some patties and place it on the grill. Okay, so I went ahead and put salt and pepper on the meat. Now I'm just gonna mix it up and form the patties. So you just gotta get in there and mix it all up. Now this was organic, but it was 85%. So we get five ounces of this. So I really don't wanna make these too thick. I want them to cook fast and evenly on the grill. I will be making two at a time and um, just making sure that at the end, when it's fully cooked, that I'm weighing it out to make sure that I get five ounces of my protein. So as I'm forming, I'm kind of pressing my thumbs around the edges to make sure that it's just nicely packed, just like that. Okay, on to patty number two. I can tell this has a little bit more meat than the first one. So just take some off, put it back in, and form. Just smush and press, guys, smush and press. Form it, get the edges nicely packed so that it stays in a form, in a patty. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and get these on the grill. Okay, so the grill is nice and hot, and now I'm just gonna put the patties on. Yeah, that's nice and hot. I'm not sure two's gonna fit, actually, so we'll just cook these one at a time. Okay, hold it down, and now it's probably gonna take maybe 10 minutes to cook. I'm just gonna keep checking on it, though. Okay, so when you're cooking this recipe, you can actually cook the beef two different ways. You can do it this way, patty form, or you can cook it up like taco meat, for example. I prefer it this way in patty form because it's almost like having, you know, a Big Mac without the bun and all that kind of stuff. So we bought this grill, actually I bought this grill for Chris as part of his Father's Day present and it has come in so handy. Even our 12 year old is getting in the kitchen and using it. So if you're interested, we can drop a link below in the video so that you can purchase it on Amazon. Okay, so it's getting close, that's looking really great. Okay, so here's half a cup of tomatoes ready to be washed as I'm waiting for my hamburger patty. Okay, so I think the patty's done. I got my food scale out. It is set to ounces. I'm gonna be placing a small paper plate, clearing it, because that is not gonna go towards my protein. It's set back to zero, and now it's time to get the patty out. Okay, so patty number two is cooking and I'm gonna get my lettuce ready. So this is going to be two cups. I have a cup ready to go. Just gonna pack it in with lettuce. I think I have a little bit room. So I just wanted to cut up these tomatoes to make it easier to put in my mouth.
Okay, so now I got my green already set. Now I'm just waiting for my lean. Okay, pretty sure that second patty is done and now let's take it off the grill. All right, so we're gonna play a game. Let's see how close I can get to five ounces with this little piece of ground patty. All right, a little bit more. I get a little bit more. We're gonna call that good. So now I'm just gonna cut up the ground beef patty and place it on top of my salad. So this has cooked perfectly. It's not pink in the middle. I don't like any pink, really, I really don't. So the Foreman Grill did an amazing job and I'm really excited to eat. Okay, so now I'm just gonna place the meat on the salad. And guys, I almost forgot. You cannot have a Big Mac salad without the pickles, so I apologize. This is going on the salad as well. Okay, so for this recipe, you would get two pickle spears. Now that is for your one optional snack. Since this is a whole pickle, I'm just gonna slice it in half, chop it up, and place it on the salad. So isn't this looking amazing so far? I mean, this is huge, guys, and I love eating my salads in a big bowl. So now I'm just gonna place the uh, cheese on top, and we are using two tablespoons. Okay, that's about right. Next is the salad dressing. We are using two tablespoons. All right, that's one. Trying to make this pretty for you guys. And there you have it, guys. This is a full lean and green. This is my protein, my vegetables, my optional snack, two condiments, and I am ready to dig in. The reason why I love this recipe so much is it is a family favorite. My boys actually love it and request this recipe. So everyone's gonna be happy tonight in the kid household. So thanks so much guys for joining me today. I really enjoy making these recipes. I love showing how easy it can be to stay on track with your health and put a healthy recipe on the table for your loved ones. So again, if you're enjoying our videos, please like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell button. Also, please go to our Instagram page, Fuel Network TV, for more awesome recipes. All right, I'm ready to eat. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.